the heart of all the viewers and make us all advocates against war. Thank you, our very amiable MC, Director Gonzalez. He was once a Palipan, a city councillor, when he was young. <laughs> so, when I arrived this afternoon, I immediately asked Mary, the Red Cross Administrator, I said, who are the guests for this afternoon? And she said, Mom, I'm with my host. I said, well, that's good because I had to pronounce their name clearly. I might mispronounce, just like Glenn. I'm a little bit scared of how I'm going to pronounce because they seem also to be alien to me. So I hope my friend here, Julian, I'll just call you Julian so that I will play safe. And the deputy head of South delegation from Mindanao. Of course, another new phone friend, Christo. I think I'm safe. Christo. And then, of course, this is easy. Anastasia is you, right? Let me also acknowledge the presence of uh, Chancellor Kanaka, who is ably represented by the Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, my Omari and friend here, Ms. Aguera. Today, uh, it's a very important occasion, not only for the Red Cross movement, but for all the people that share with the humanitarian process of our movement. As emblem is used free area. And on the 35th anniversary of the Red Cross General Gensar chapter, the mayor of the city have also declared General Santos City. That's why we thought it would be the best occasion to bring the two gentlemen and declare the entire chapter. Nevertheless, there have been declarations that has been made. Uh, but nevertheless, in the future occasion, probably in the anniversary of the International Humanitarian Law, or the Geneva Convention sometime August, we can do the occasion where both gentlemen will be able to meet. As mentioned by my former teacher, Ma'am Lulu, that uh, Tony Cartohano and myself were already part of the Red Cross movement when we were still young. Actually, we started to be part of the movement since we were first year high school. Up to today, we are no longer youth, we are no longer righteous youth, but we continue to be part of this movement. During the 125th anniversary of the Battle of San Ferdino, I was chance to head the Philippine delegation to go to Italy, Castiglione del Stivieri, where the Battle of San Ferdino took place.